it's difficult not to be suspicious when you see Mary Astor walking into a private eye's office. But when audiences saw Mary do it in this movie, it was three years before she did the same thing and made some movie history in 1941's The Maltese Falcon, which we showed earlier tonight. So in 1938, having Mary Astor as a cold-blooded killer was basically casting against type and a surprise. Although she'd already been involved in many hoot in the movies, one of the best actually being the Kennel murder case with Mary and William Powell, which we're going to be showing in primetime next Wednesday, right here on March 19th. And by the way, Columbia Pictures intended this film we just showed to be but the first in a whole series of murder mysteries involving Bill and Sally Reardon, but only one sequel was actually done. It was called There's That Woman Again, with Melvin Douglas returning as Bill Reardon, but not Joan Blondell back as Sally. Joan was under contract to Warner Brothers Studios at that time, and Warners didn't want her tied up in a series at a rival studio. So Virginia Bruce was borrowed from MGM to play Sally over at Columbia that time, but only one time. No more movies about the Reardons were made after that. Up next, Mary Astor is in one of the great swashbuckling adventure films. It's David O. Selznick's production of a legendary novel by Anthony Hope about some dark deeds going on in a castle known as Zenda during the coronation of a king. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, star of the month Mary Astor is an ambitious widow in The Prisoner of Zenda. Then Astor wipes things away in the murder of Dr. Harrigan. And Mary gets some protection from Edward G. Robinson in The Man with Two Faces. Turner